Hey, and we are now live. If I set all this up correctly, we should be good to go. I think we are live. We've got the music going. We've got this two camera setup going on. We've got a box that we are ready to open up. This is the... Not exactly sure what electric skateboard is in this box, but I have a box over here with me to the side. Yo, what is up, Mark? What is up, Abdul? Welcome to the stream. Miss Ski, Shadow Wolf, what's up, what's up? What up, Mr. Reddington? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you guys here. In just a bit, we are going to be opening up a brand new electric skateboard. What up, T-Bone? How are you guys doing? Let me know. Let me know. I see you guys going off in the chat over there. What is up, guys? Hey, I got this board. In just a sec, we're going to open it up. Real quick, I just want to say, hey, what's up to you guys? Real quick, can you let me know if the stream looks and sounds okay? I just want to know if I have this whole setup right, because it's completely brand new to me. This whole thing is, yeah, it's, I'm not used to this at all, as you can see. It's something that I'm trying out for the first time tonight. So if it looks and sounds okay, um, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Hey, Grady, you just got a brand new boosted? That's dope, man. Those boards are so much fun. What's up, Muhammad? Looks golden. Everything is A-OK. -okay. What board is it? It's from Yiko. I haven't looked too much into the specs yet, but we'll, we'll get into that in just a sec. All good, all good. That's awesome. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to open this thing up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, T-Bone. That's what's up, man. For sure. Let's go then. Pick up this big old box. Mm, it's heavy. Uh, it's big boy. Mark, the answer to that question is whatever is charged. <laughs> Yo, Kevin just got a new X-Way. That is such a fun board. I have the Riot Kit. I still need to test out on that board. Okay, you guys ready for this? Got my long claw letter opener, AKA the box opener. What's up, Kyle? What's up, CJ? Let's go for it. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is a big box, dude. Has to be something good in here. Hey, what up, ponies among us? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. What board is it? It's a board from Yiku, but I'm not quite sure the model. I'll update the stream and the video description link as soon as we have it out because you never know with these boxes what you can get inside. Dude, all of you guys are getting a bunch of new boards. That's awesome. Um, I don't know where, what part of the world you're from, but over here, the weather's starting to cool off a bit. You know, summer's winding down. The hot temperatures are going away. We're starting to get into the cool fall weather. It's the perfect time to go riding. So I'm stoked for all of you guys that just got boards. Happy to see you guys out there riding. Ooh. Damn, this is a tough nut to crack, box to break, but, hmm. Ah. Yo, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is tough. Oh my goodness. Box within a box, you think so, Mikey? Probably, dude. They always do box within a box. Let's see if you're right. And Mikey was correct. Box within a box. Okay. All right, this is a little tough. I'm gonna take the headphones off real quick. Let's get this. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> you guys see what it says on the box? Electric SUV skateboard. Hey, you could fit a family of five on this thing. All right, so we have a board from Yiku. It's a big box. I think this is their AT model, or one of their AT models. Max speed of 37 kilometers an hour. Six inch, six inch tires. Looks big and beefy. SUV, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. A hey, ponies. The weight is worth it, I promise. Oh, you can still hear me really well without the headset? Okay. Sweet. It was a tad bit cumbersome, so we'll just go ahead and put that off to the side. Probably just sounds like I'm a little far away. Oh, you guys seen this? The first look. Okay, there's an animal on the grip tape. Can you guys guess what animal it is? Let's see if anyone gets it right in the in the chat. It's a small animal. It's part of the animal kingdom. Yes, leopard, not a leopard. Way smaller than a leopard, but some would say much more or just as deadly. Panda, elephant, domestic cat. No, 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 no cats, no cats. Frog is kind of close. Bear and rabbit, incorrect. Squirrel, no, 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 not a bunny. Even though if it was a bunny, that'd be really sick. Boxing ASMR. Ooh, you guys want some? Okay, enough of that. Anyways, it's a scorpion. Big. This is a big board. Oh, yo! You guys get a look at those tires. I know how bad you guys want to see the board itself, but we always start oh, off with the accessories. Yeah. Procrastinating Zombie, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Keep up the reviews, waiting till I can get a whole sense of all the boards out there. There are a ton of boards out there. If you ever need help choosing one, you can go ahead and DM me and we'll talk about what you want to do with it, you know, where you're trying to ride and what you need out of a board. And, I'll try my best to help you out, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat. All right. This is what's in there. Let's start off with the basic stuff. T-tool. Always gotta have a T-tool. Charger. Because it's electric. You charge up electronics. A uh, duh. <laughs> Charger for the remote. And the remote itself. Take a look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice big thumb wheel. Ooh. Got an indicator for the remote battery for the board. I like these kinds of remotes. And a lanyard. Now, a lot of the times people don't give lanyards. I don't know why. I think we need lanyards. Like, what are you going to do without a lanyard? And that's what happens when you do things live. All right, so the lanyard was on there. It just wasn't secure around <laughs> the tether part. The lanyard's fine, it didn't break. 
I'll put that on later. It's the same as the Riptide remote. Oh, nice, nice. All right. Ooh, baby, we got extra tires and extra belts. Extra belts. Ooh, ooh. Go with these tires. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. So we have the option for street because what's on the board right now is, I guess it's gotta be the AT option. This is looking to be super dope. I am digging this board. All right, it is the Yiku G2S. It's their S model. I don't know what the S stands for, probably uh, street or super. S models. God, I love the S models. All right, Yiku GTS. Huh, let's take a look at some specs. It's got lots of things. Uh, all right, ESC. Well, the thing about specs is that the numbers, they can say whatever they want on numbers. But it doesn't really mean anything to me if the numbers aren't true, you know? So I'll take a look at this, but we won't need to check it out now because what we're going to focus on is the actual numbers when it comes to speed and range that you get in real life riding because paper means one thing, but numbers, numbers don't lie. The results are what we really care about. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Souped up, that's what the S stands for. AVAC style, oh yeah. What core is that? Here, let me go ahead and just give you guys a look at this. Get a nice, nice good look. Nice big, chunky, nice thick urethane. Look at the teeth. And we also have the, the front ones. Off of the drive. Looking pretty good. Nice lips on there. Eat. Hold on one sec for me, guys. Only problem with foot braking is that it's really tough on the shoes. Foot braking can be tough on the shoes, but you gotta learn how to do it, you know? Oh, and on to the bad boy itself. This is beautiful. Get the styrofoam out of here. Oh, oh man. Oh, can't wait to start a family so I can put family of five on this board since it is an SUV. Just take a look at hmm. Here's the board. A little heavy, but what do you expect from a big um, all-terrain board? One moment. These tires are insane. Airless rubber tires. All right, I bet you guys look Rearing to see what's underneath. Let me move this chair to the side. We have a lot of room. This is what the underside of the deck looks like. Ooh, what's the thickness? Kind of thick. Not super thick, but kind of thick. I've seen worse. It's not bad by any means. Kind of heavy. 
I love the color of these tires. Trucks are nice and wide. All right, put it down and let's check it out. Protect the table. What size battery? Good question. Just opened it up. Don't really know too much about it yet. It arrived on my front door the other day. She has nice curves. She really does. I want to get this puffball microphone out of the way. Here we go. Power buttons back here. Turn it on on the remote. Speed modes are on the side of the board. High, medium, low. See if there's any juice in this thing. Um, weight, I think from the user manual was around 33 pounds. Kind of skimmed it. Not sure. I'll have to weigh it later or we'll get that info from their site. Okay, so it has a max speed of 25 miles per hour. With the standard battery, you can get up to 19 miles. No. Okay, so there's different ranges depending on which wheel set you use. You want to go with the AT or if you want to go with the street, it's going to affect the uh, range and top speed that you can get. So using the AT, you have a top speed of, <laughs> I just had it, 25 miles. And a max range of 21 miles with their bigger battery. Yes, there are two battery options. That was low. I'm sorry if this like hurts your ears. The microphone is right next to the board. I don't know if it sounds good, like if it's like ASMR or something, or if it sounds bad. <laughs> now we're gonna check out the high speed mode. <gasps> Whoa. What? What was that? The brake lights. When you pull down on the brake, lights come on. That is actually really smart and a really good idea. In group rides, you can't tell if someone's braking, but with brake lights, they'll be able to know. They'll see you coming. They'll see you stopping. That's actually genius. I thought of making lights that do that, but this has it. That's, that's good. I've seen that on one other board before, but these one are, these are LED. Look at that. <laughs> That's dope. Actually, you know what? Oof. Just imagine riding at night and you have this. You're a party on wheels. That's pretty cool. Bro, I'm gonna get this board for my birthday. It's hella cheap and beautiful. Yeah, this thing, this thing is a is a is a party. <laughs> it's a party SUV skateboard. Ooh, seems like a lot of fun. I, this is actually my first off-road belt-driven electric skateboard. Yeah, it is my first off-road belt-driven board. and I'm very stoked to ride it. I think there is a dirt bike park nearby. I wanna take this over there. I think this deserves, as nice as it is, I think it deserves to get dirty.
How much does it weigh? I could put all of that info in the description when I make the review for this. But the weight of the board is 30.6 pounds with the AT wheels, 19.6 pounds with the street wheel. The deck is bam the deck is eight layers of maple, 38 inches long, take up to 330 pounds. Yeah, it's looking pretty solid, pretty solid for sure. This is dope, this is dope. I gotta say that the unboxing experience itself was pretty minimal, but what was inside was nothing basic at all this is this is not your typical piece of wood with a motor on it you know there's actually a bit more to this yeah this is um this is nuts yeah i imagine the weight difference is that insane because look at the difference in the size of these tires it's huge three or four times the video the size and yes of course i will definitely be making a video of me riding it taking it somewhere sick street off-road anywhere i find fun I know the wheel comes 90 millimeter hubs. Yeah, this thing is, this board's pretty. This is a pretty board for sure. Hey, Adam, glad you're having fun on that board. Yeah, I think this is a lot more manageable and much easier to do without the headphones on. Huh? Yiku, Yiku, Yiku. Leave us on a cliff cliffhanger for a review. Well, I mean, I can't really ride this board inside, nor can I bring this live stream. Uh-oh. We gonna do a live stream first impression? I don't think so because I believe it's gonna storm tonight. So I'm sorry about that. Although I have been doing some live stream rides. I've been doing a lot of streaming in general a lot of live streaming but i do have a couple of videos already shot i just need to edit them and um that will be up on this channel in a couple of days i think i'm gonna have one up tomorrow if not saturday i actually have not ridden downtown richmond yet ty but i really want to i went to school in richmond and i love that city man all right this one last look at the board before this unboxing portion is done. I'm getting some Tron Black Panther vibes out of the grip tape design. I dig the wheel color. Wheel color is so nice. But underneath, oh, it's not terribly heavy. I feel like you get, you get something cool. You get something different. Out of this board you know like what what you get the option to ride street the option to ride at i can't wait to test this thing out i'm stoked i'm i'm ready I'm ready to try it out all right but i need to charge it up knock out a couple of other videos before we get into this board but until then i'm down to chill for a bit hang out with you guys do a little Q&A, do a little chatty chat with the Stoke squad. Since the unboxing portion is over, there wasn't too much to it, but now we just have a good look of this electric skateboard. There's a hurricane coming on the East Coast. Anyone on the East Coast, if you are in the path of the hurricane, I wish that you guys are safe, you and your family. Please be careful out there. Don't skate in a hurricane. Please don't. It needs stickers underneath. You really think you want to sticker bomb this thing? Actually, you know what? You're right. If you were to put stickers around here and at night, oh, 
with that illuminated those multi-color stickers beautiful absolutely beautiful oh don't do that don't do that y'all don't do that don't don't yeah don't do that at all <laughs> ah. yeah it's kind of heavy mm. big beefy battery to power this thing these motors you guys want to get a look at the motors let's take a look at the motors i think we do need a bit we need to take a look at that they're kind of beefy kind of raw i'm expecting a lot out of it not too much so i'm sure i'll be pleasantly surprised Oh. I got I get rid of a lot of them. I usually just give them to my friends and the supporters of the channel. Anyone who's helped me out with the video. Another look at these wheels. This Those are sick. That's dope. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. Cool, cool. cool. I wish there was a mode to just keep the lights on. I think it's only on when you break. So this has the ability to go reverse. Oh. You can go this way, or you can go this way. Okay, that was low mode. The heck! Now I haven't broken anything from falling off a skateboard. I haven't really had a serious fall. I almost got hit by a car today. I waved, I yelled, I did everything I could to get noticed, and the guy was just not looking at me. He was looking in the complete opposite direction. I had to teach him a lesson. I had to say, yo, your eyes on the road, bro. There's people out here. There's people in this world other than you, and you have to, you have to take note of what's around you or else don't be driving, bro. Hey Dizzy, welcome to the stream. You're on the tail end of it, but um, honeycombs, shape-wise, no, but um, like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Your neighbor hit you and you went up the windshield? You have to move. You have to move right now. Don't be neighbors with that person anymore. Yeah, people, people are ridiculous when they drive. Yeah, some people, I, I wonder how they got their licenses. Hey, that's what's up, Kyle. You got to look both ways twice. Sweet. All right, so we unboxed the board. We kind of briefly took a look at some specs. We looked at the weight. We looked at the party mode. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can show you right now during this during this live stream but if there's anything you guys want to see anything you want to ask that I can quickly answer before I you know do my research on the board I'm happy to happy to try and help happy to chat it up with you guys for just a little bit longer and I'm not sure I like hearing these stories of you guys getting hit by cars please avoid getting hit by cars if possible it's probably not good i've never been hit by one but i can just imagine how it feels let's do party mode one more time i've been skateboarding for about a decade this is so cool 
Yeah, I've been skateboarding for a while since middle school. I never really got good at skateboarding, but I can do some tricks and I have fun with it and that's all that really matters. And I have fun riding these electric boards. They're, they're a blast. The Raldi? We were in communications and the communications just went cold. But this thing back here kind of looks similar to it, so I got I got one with lights now. Hold the button and the power button for the remote for the lights. You're right. Let's try that out. Wait. It's got push to start. trying to make these hey hey you were right if you hold the reverse button you turn the lights on but they don't flash they just stay on which is still pretty cool I like holding the reverse button down because the lights just like go disco ball mode. It's pretty sick. Hey Kyle, that's what's up. It's awesome that you picked up skating even even uh in your 40s. It's sick. Or I guess late 30s to early 40s. Hey Sergeant Kong, thank you for stopping by to this live stream unboxing. You enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Appreciate you stopping by. The video is gonna be sick. You have the same controller. I have not ridden a board with these wheels before, but I'm excited to do so. They seem like they're fun. They seem cushy. And I bet they're fine on off-road, but awesome on the street. Especially if you have bad roads. Like these wheels are huge. They're gonna be they're gonna be so good. They're gonna be comfortable. It's gonna be like riding an SUV on the road, but it's a skateboard. <gasps> SUV skateboard. <laughs> Watch out with braking and accelerating with the ESC. I gotcha, I gotcha. Wait, I don't know if it actually had push to start. Let me let me double check because I turned the power button on. Okay, board's off. Yeah, it has push to start. Push to start confirmed on this board. I'm going to put it back on the desk I'm digging these beats too these beats are awesome I do like the fact that they give you street wheels along with the AT wheels and the the belts to go with it it's nice that the kit is sort of all in one I know some companies make it optional, but this is, this is nice. I like it. I wonder why they went with black wheels instead of orange wheels though. The only thing I don't like about big AT boards is having to carry them around. It's like, it's a commitment <laughs> to ride an AT board or a, a big heavy board. Hey, that's what's up, man. Hey, Valen Valen Valentin. Yes, this is a new board. We just unboxed it earlier today. It is a combo all-terrain street board belt drive. Sweet, sweet airless tires and party mode. <laughs> Shock absorbing wheels. Uh, um, I wouldn't say shock absorbing. Maybe. They're for sure cushy. I guess it I guess all wheels absorb some shock, but I think these would do a good job. I can't really say for sure until I actually go out there and ride in some pretty bad roads. Hey Chris M Stoke Squad, that's what's up. Alright guys. 
been going on for a minute now. I've showed you the board. I don't really have anything else to show you right now. So in a couple of minutes, we're going to go ahead and end this live stream. But if you guys want to chat it up, I'll answer a couple of questions. Try and uh, just talk and hang out with you guys because that is the best. Eddie, them wheels is thick with two C's, three C's, four C's. Maybe we'll have ourselves a little party. You know, they say that this board can go 25. I think it can go faster. A lot of people have been sort of underselling their speed lately. Like a lot of people say it has a top speed of 28 and I'd be hitting 30. What? But I guess it's uh, safer to under promise and over deliver for sure. Party time. That's right, Paul. Ooh. When is a video of this board coming out? I would say in a week or two. And I've been really busy with a couple of things outside of YouTube and I'm kind of behind on some videos, but they're coming out. They're coming out, I promise. Me too, man, me too. I'm very excited about it. Um, Micah, not quite yet, but I do have a uh, actual a gift card giveaway going on right now. The links to that is in my Instagram. If you don't know what my Instagram is, someone can help out in the chat. That would be greatly appreciated. It's just at Seth Ronnie. It's for Amazon or Nintendo eShop if that's what you're into. Bring the board away to me. This board's perfect for the NYC streets. It is, but it's not perfect for the NYC commute because of the weight. But if you're willing to do so, it could be pretty good. It's been a minute since I've been in New York City. I need to, I need to get out there. Something completely unrelated to YouTube, Paul, Palm Hall. So it doesn't really need to be discussed there. Let's put everything away to the side. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. This live stream has been really fun. I've been digging creating live content lately, and I appreciate all of you who stopped by, tuned in to check it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I have a list of patrons that I want to say thank you to down below. We have Meepo Board, AE Board, Apsu Board, and eSkateboardPark.com. They're all companies that I've worked with in the past, and they are awesome. And if you guys want to do all the other social media stuff, that's down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this live stream. Just want to say, appreciate y'all. Anyways, stay stoked. I'm out. Peace. Hey.